observed, it is creating a debris ball on our radar right here, and that is the concern, because what this means is that it's literally lofting debris into the atmosphere, our radar sweeping through it, it is detecting something other than rain or hail on your screen right now, that is debris from a tornado that's on the ground near Armstrong currently. Let's look at the latest shear rate, you can see exactly, same spot, right there, St. Joseph to Armstrong, we're waiting on that latest radar sweep here, and hopefully we can get that soon, uh, coming in, but let's look at our wind speed data currently uh, associated with this system. So according to our latest data, about 76, we're just, look at that, Griffin, we just registered 112 estimated wind gusts uh, on our screen right here. That may be one of the strongest winds we've registered um, with this product. So it's a fairly significant thunderstorm that has generated a tornado that is currently on the ground near Armstrong. If you're near Armstrong, Darmstadt, Stacer, Nisbet, uh, St. Wendell, uh, St. James, Hogsdog, Cynthiana. Cynthiana, not in the direct path of this system, but nonetheless, you need to be in your safe spot. Poseyville, the same story. Please, please, please get in those safe spots right now. Um, it is a potentially dangerous storm on the screen currently. Uh, we're still watching that debris ball uh, as of right now. Let's look and see if hail is a problem. Hail doesn't really seem to be a problem today, which is good. If there's any silver lining here, that's not uh, a concern. Uh, but obviously, that tornadic activity. Okay, so we had the latest radar sweep. We have our latest rotation tracker data here. All right, so we placed the storm northeast of Armstrong, northwest of Hobstock. Uh, moving northeast at about 65 miles per hour, St. James, or I should say, excuse me, the storm is northwest of Darmstadt, southwest of Hobstadt. So, if you're in Hobstadt, St. James, stay sir, please, please, please be in that safe spot now. You do not have time at this point. Get to that safe spot, whether it's a basement, whether it's a crawl space, a washroom on the first floor, a closet, something like that. Also, shoes on. A lot of times, and we ran into this a lot in December with that massive, or a year ago December, with that massive tornado that rolled through uh, many of our Kentucky communities, a lot of folks had damage, and they got out of their safe spot without shoes on. They have debris on the ground, stuff like that. So shoes on before you get into your safe spot. So we have multiple, another roll here from our radar. So Nisbet, Hobstock, you're essentially under the gun right now, St. James, but we're watching this area in yellow right now. Let's see if we can get another look at a debris ball. Uh, nothing quite yet. So what we look at when we're looking at our debris detector, um, there's a lot of interference right down here. This is just the clear skies and rain and wind. But what we look for is a specific area of blue amongst the sea of red, and that is exactly what we're seeing near Nisbet right now. So that is a threat, and that is possibly still that area of debris, and that coincides with our rotation tracker and our wind data. Now, if there is good news here, it is that our wind data doesn't look quite as significant. It is, I will say, inching closer to the radar site, however, and that can sometimes lead to um, less significant looking returns on our radar data. Uh, but that being said, uh, we're still going to treat this as though it is a tornado on the ground. So right now, watching that shear rate, watching that rotation tracker, doesn't necessarily look all that significant. Just off to the west of Hobstock, west of St. James right now. This is the area in which we are watching. Let's go back to our debris tracker. There's the debris right now west of St. James. Again, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. We're going to pull that uh, area out, or our... Um, cone out, let you know exactly how long you have until this system reaches your neck of the woods. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit first, and then we'll bring that uh, back out. So there's our debris ball. Get up to about 65 miles per hour here. Okay, so Hobstock, you have literal moments. It says three minutes, probably less than that at this point. Fort Branch, you have until 12.55. That's six minutes from now. Francisco, you have until 1.03. That's about a 14-minute heads up. Oakland City, 107. Winslow, 213. Petersburg, 216. If I have mentioned a community near where you're located, you need to be in that safe spot. Again, lowest level of the structure you're in, away from those exterior windows and walls. Even if a tornado doesn't affect you, those 70 mile per hour winds associated with the same storm that's generating this tornado may 
So please, just be safe, be cautious. Again, shoes on as well. Once you get to that safe spot, may seem silly putting your shoes on inside your house, but you may thank me for that once the storm comes and goes, there may be debris. Again, you have to watch out for that. So, uh, Hazel, or, uh, do we have anything uh, else as far from National Weather Service? Um, Griffin, have yes. you seen anything um, come through? So we just got an update. So we obviously, we that uh, tornado was observed, and um, but no confirmed sightings of the tornado. Um, okay. But we will continue to keep an eye on that. Um, as far as the tornado warning, they are going to continue it for Gibson, Pike, Posey, Vandenberg, and Warwick counties until 1.30. Okay. So for another 40 minutes now. Um, I do want you all to be aware that there are severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes still located along a line extending from near Cynthiana to near Darmstadt. So between Posey and portions of northern Vandenberg County yep. moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. So it has slowed down slightly, okay. um, but they are saying the strongest of these are um, were just east of Poseyville. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then you can see that reflected on our screen right here. Um, and this is just a reflectivity. So these are just our radar returns. And what's interesting about this is because normally uh, – Griffin and Griffin knows this, but normally when we see uh, very strong organized tornadoes come through, they have what's called a hook echo on the back of them. And storms tend to move west to northeast or west to east here in the United States. These storms are moving essentially due north. And you're actually getting almost a little bit of a hook echo on the back edge of where that rotation couplet was and debris ball was a short bit ago, except it's moving north. So that couplet and that curl kind of curls back east out towards Hobstadt. So that's, again, where we're watching that threat uh, for potentially damaging winds and that tornadic threat. But again, the National Weather Service has issued that tornado warning, a confirmed tornado warning for portions of Pike County as well as Gibson County and down towards Warwick County. The greatest threat for these storms, however, uh, remains just west of Hobstadt, south of Fort Branch. If you have a safe spot, Please be in it right now. Again, the unfortunate thing is this is also getting precariously close to our radar site. And that's a problem because radar doesn't necessarily read at the correct heights when the closer you get to it. So there is a debris ball disappearing on our radar right now, which is unfortunate. But we can still track some wind data to give you a generally estimated location of what we could be dealing with. So uh, at last look, we were just west of Hobstock. That is essentially where we kind of find ourselves right now. So if you're in Fort Branch, McGarry, Hobstock, uh, you need to be in that safe spot immediately, immediately, folks. It's not the time you want to hang out the door and look out and see what's going on out there. You don't need to do that. Just be in that safe spot. Just be safe. Use extra caution with this. Um, so we don't necessarily have a debris uh, detection on our radar now. That's the good news. The bad news is that while that is all well and good, we are very close to the center of our radar site. And that may not be reading much of that debris on your screen right now. Uh, we are still looking at a good amount of shear or rotation on our screen here. So from Owensville, the Fort Branch, the Hobstock, if we're continuing on that line in which we were watching earlier, this is likely from Durham, the Fort Branch, Hobstock. That's likely where we're seeing the greatest threat of that rotation. There's a couple couplets back towards uh, Cynthiana and Mounts right now. Though, again, that is very close to that radar site, so that could be causing a problem for us and kind of interfering with uh, what we could be seeing. So we're going to focus on the Fort Branch. It kind of looks like... If I had to go completely based on what we're seeing, Fort Branch just maybe west of Fort Branch, right here on your screen. So I'm going to get rid of the arrows, and then we can kind of just circle it on the screen right here. From Durham, the Fort Branch, that's probably where we're seeing some sort of... Of rotate, yep, there it is right there on our rotation tracker. So we're watching that. There does appear to be some rotation off to the south of that. Let's go back to our wind data. It's not really much there. Uh, you can see some reds and greens together there, but there's not much organization. So I'm going to focus more on this system 
just around Durham and Fort Branch. Again, uh, moving fast. It was moving at 65 miles per hour. Uh, Griffin just came in with the latest data from the National Weather Service saying about 45 miles per hour. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is a fairly fast-moving storm right now. I yeah, have another the update spot, for you. It would probably be just now west of Durham, uh, between Durham and McGarry, moving out towards King, uh, Baldwin Heights, Douglas, Princeton. You are next up as well. So I'm actually going to zoom back out here. We're going to go for that cone and see if I can get a general idea here. So right there at about, we'll say about 45 miles per hour, Griffin. That's the latest data we had. Pushing northeast. Uh, Princeton, you have about a eight-minute heads up, probably closer to five minutes at this point. If you're in Princeton, you're watching this. If you're near Princeton and you're watching this, safe spots, folks. If you know somebody who lives in Princeton, a family a member, a friend, shoot them a text. Give them a call. Say, hey, it's time to get into the washroom, time to get into the basement. Um, this is the type of storm that you don't want to fool around with because this has been a confirmed tornado. Uh, moving northeast at, again, about 45 to 50 miles per hour. So uh, please, please, please save thoughts, folks. Um, before we get back to that, I do want to focus on those severe thunderstorm warnings still capable of generating winds in excess of 70 miles per hour. Not to uh, say that they're not important, but when you have a tornado on the ground with debris, that's something you fo tend to focus on a bit more. Uh, but these storms still moving fairly quickly. Uh, Howland. Santa Claus, Dale, Prisney, Lewisport, um, you're next up here. Tell City, Hawesville, Forbesville, Whitesville catching it pretty significantly right now. The area is just east of Hartford and Beaver Dam. This is all the damaging wind threat. 70 mile per hour winds, still a possibility. Uh, but you can see again, as we move forward, uh, that threat of a confirmed tornado, obviously front of the mind at this point. Uh, so we're going to continue to watch that. Again, uh, out towards Fort Branch, that seems to be the greatest threat of that rotation. Kind of a weak rotation couplet right there between Durham uh, and north out towards uh, King, Baldwin Heights, and eventually out towards Princeton. But this is going to be moving towards King, Baldwin Heights, Princeton, Douglas. Do you have any folks, anybody you know out that way that could potentially uh, be impacted by the system? They've probably gotten the text message on their phone. Uh, they've probably got some sort of notification, but it doesn't hurt to shoot a text or call them and tell them exactly what's headed their direction. Uh, Griffin, do you have anything coming in from National Weather Service, damage reports, anything quite like that that you're seeing that could uh, kind of corroborate some of what we're seeing on our screen right here? Well, uh, the National Weather Service just came out and said that uh, they have expired the tornado warning for Vandenberg County, okay. so that is great news. Um, but still very gusty winds. Um, most of the storm is now moving into Warwick and Posey, uh, or Pike and uh, Gibson counties okay. at this hour. Um, just want to be aware as well. I know this is kind of um, away from it, but uh, just because of how strong the winds are, they have now put the majority of the tri-state under a high wind warning yeah. instead okay. of the wind advisory. And uh, like we were saying earlier, they uh, just an update on that observed tornado. Um, they did um, say that for Gibson and Pike, um, that there are still the severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes. Um, and it is now this line that we've been tracking, it is extending near Owensville to near Oakland City in Gibson County. And it is moving northeast at about 65 miles per hour. Okay, so back up to about that 65 mile per hour. And just stretch. to give you an, another update before you get on sure. to it, um, there is there was a local storm report in Vandenberg County of shingles off of a roof, okay. uh, siding off of the house, yeah, uh, and trees down. Um, and then Highway 351 in Henderson County, you're going to want to avoid that. Um, it's going to be closed for a little while due to damage covering the road. Okay, so we do have confirmed reports of damage, uh, some structure damage because of these winds. Again, wind gusts uh, with a lot of these storms around 70 miles per hour plus. We registered uh, with this system out towards uh, Princeton right now in Fort Branch 
We registered an estimated wind gust of 112 miles per hour on our radar a short bit ago. Uh, none of these storms, no matter if it's a severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning or any types of the storms you want to fool around with, uh, because we are getting those reports of damage as of right now. Uh, so looking at our rotation tracker, there's not a ton of organization. Again, the problem is we are very close. Uh, Johnson Owensville, that's essentially where our radar site is. So we're kind of close to it right now. And you can see right around the radar site, we're getting.